what's going on everybody thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit tonight i'm uh trying out a few new ideas uh it's saturday night i thought we'd kind of smooth it out have a little chit chat about some lighthearted things uh just waiting for some other folks to get on the bus, so to speak. We got a few in here now. It's cool. Welcome, welcome. What's up, bromance? So, uh, what got me thinking was uh, today is uh, a buddy of mine's birthday. And, uh, He's, uh, mo most of you guys may not know this, but, uh, I'm a drummer in my spare time. I play drums and, uh, this buddy of mine, uh, is one of the best drummers I have ever had the privilege of seeing play the drums and, uh, just, uh, serving on the worship team with him at church. And, uh, that's my buddy, David Cubine. So I want to send a shout out to him today, Mr. Uh, Swift with the Sticks, David Cubine, happy birthday to you. <laughs> Coach Kelly, no flat tires. That's right. We're driving the party bus. I'm driving the party bus. No flat tires allowed. Thanks for reminding me about that. No flat tires. So anyhow, uh, today is my buddy David's birthday, and he had a birthday wish that... Uh, Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> uh, maybe one of these days I'll, I'll debut. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'll be brave enough to sing. Anyway, uh, my buddy David had a birthday wish, and uh, his birthday wish was that on his birthday that nobody would say, in these fill-in-the-blank times on his birthday. And it really got me thinking, you know, um, this whole experience that we that we've been going through since the beginning of March, um, there's a lot of cause to just be down, you know. And I get it, you know. There's a lot going on. There's a, there's a lot of a lot of things to to feel fearful about. A lot of things to be unsure about. A lot of things to be certainly a lot to be mad about. That's for sure. So what I thought we do tonight is uh i mean i don't have an official title for this segment you know saturday night something something I don't, I don't know what to call it yet i'm not that i can't think that far ahead um saturday night smooth talk i don't know <laughs> what i thought we do tonight is uh i want to i want to i want to interact with with you guys so um <laughs> 
Uh, type in the chat, write a comment about something that you are looking forward to doing the most once quarantine is over. What, what once once we're set free? What what are you most looking forward to doing? Um, I I've got a list. Um, and I don't want to be the only I don't want to be the only one whose ideas get shared here. So if, if you've got something that you are the most looking forward to, I want to talk about that. Um, I want to, um, for lack of a better term, for lack of better wording, I, I, I would like to just speak some positivity into that. Um, you know, there, there's a lot to look forward to. And th these past few months that we've been um, caged up <laughs> um, many of us have come to the realization of things that we had that we didn't know we had freedoms that we didn't know we were free to do opportunities we were we were afforded that we didn't take advantage of and now we we're, we've been in this situation where we're not afforded opportunity to do these things and uh, so I got my list of things that I'm looking forward to doing. I want to hear from you. What are you most looking forward to doing? I already got a couple things here. Let's see. Uncle Ricky says he's looking forward to going to Mexico. Amen, brother. Uh, I got a handful of friends that are looking forward to going somewhere that is warm, tropical, and uh, far from here in the Pacific Northwest. So I can totally appreciate that. Um, the closest to Mexico that I personally have ever been is technically Baja, California. I've been to Tijuana. Uh, I've been to Tecate. I've been to Rosarito. I've been to Ensenada. Um, I actually got sick when I was there. I got Montezuma's Revenge. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, Google it. I'm not going to give you the gory details. <laughs> but it wasn't fun. And I was 17 years old, and I was on a mission trip with my youth group. So... Yeah, that wasn't pleasant. Uh, anyhow, I can totally appreciate that, Uncle Ricky. Going to Mexico, yeah. I tell you, the older I'm getting, being somewhere warm on a more permanent basis is becoming more and more appealing. My allergies are getting worse. Uh, my bones are getting are getting rickety. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So, anyhow. Let's see. See, Michelle says, seeing my friends and singing with them. Amen to that. You know, I, I was talking to Andrea just a little while ago about when's the last time that we went out for karaoke? I can't even remember the last time that, that I went out for karaoke. Um, you know, some of you guys remember me from, gosh, I don't know how many years ago that was, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, probably close to 20 years ago, uh, I hosted a karaoke show. Uh Man, times have really changed. Life has calmed down. But yeah, I, I can't I can't remember the last time I went out for karaoke. So uh you know what, Michelle? Let's get a group of us together, just like the good old days, and go and uh raid somebody's karaoke show and put a bunch of money in their tip jar to help restart their economy. Let's do that. Um gosh, I really do miss that. Now that I think about it. Let's see. Oh, my wife. She says that she's most looking forward to traveling with my dear husband. Yeah, I have to admit that um, I am one of those fortunate ones that is married to the best travel buddy that you could ever ask for. Um, you know, some of the places that, that we would like to go, we'd like to go back to San Francisco. Uh, we were there in San Francisco a number of years ago, and both of us had this really bad flu bug we flew down there it was labor day weekend and uh you know we got sick right before we went so it was pretty much too late to cancel but um it was it was pretty awful uh we would get up in the morning and have something to eat down in the restaurant or we'd go walk around in the neighborhood and get something to eat then we come back to the hotel and sleep then we get up in the afternoon and go play and then we come back to the hotel and sleep so it, it was rough. Uh, we did do the Alcatraz tour. We did a bunch of other stuff, but I would imagine that it's a lot more fun when you're not sick. So that's one place we want to go. We've been talking about going to San Antonio. 
uh, Nashville. I've always wanted to go to the Grand Old Opry. Um, I would personally like to go back to Vegas and see some more shows. Um, next year, uh, really the only thing that we're tentatively planning is next year we'd like to go to Italy um, for our anniversary. That's uh, another about a year away for that trip. So hopefully we'll get to do that. We'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, traveling, definitely. Hey, what's up, Moose? Watching sports, yeah. Boy, I'm missing sports, man. I tell you, um, this is it's been really strange to not see basketball and now baseball. Um, I was thinking about that, you know, how how I I'm so used to this time, you know, pre football season. Um, there isn't a whole lot on television. You know, all of all of the regular shows are winding up for their season, and you know, all that's real, all that there really is is sports. And uh, you know, I miss watching basketball. I wish I miss watching baseball. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, <laughs> bromance. I miss hanging with you too, boo. For sure, for sure. We gotta, me and you, bro. We gotta go. Uh, we gotta have. We gotta re up our our occasional lunch dates, for sure. Uh, gosh, I miss that. Hmm. Anyhow, yes, SoCal definitely. SoCal, yeah, that's. I swear that's my second home. Every time, every time I'm in Southern California, I feel like I was born to live there. Yeah, I've lived here in the Seattle, greater Seattle area my entire life. I'm 48 years old, but every time I'm in Southern California, I, I physically feel better. My spirits are just high, and it isn't just because going to Disneyland. Uh, there's other things that I like doing down there, believe it or not. San Diego's gorgeous. LA is gorgeous. Um, anyway, yeah, SoCal for sure. What's up, money? Let's see what else we got. Greece, yeah. That's right, Kelly. We would be prepping for June football. I was thinking about that just yesterday. Some of the kids that that uh, we coached at Mount Lake Terrace, I've been I followed some of them on social media, and and uh, they're getting ready to get scouted, and some of them are getting offers to colleges. And I was thinking about that. Hey, it's May. We would be having coaches meetings getting ready to plan for spring turnout man that's crazy yeah yeah that's crazy yeah yeah my wife says watching emma Rowe. hey maybe you, some of you guys don't know this um if, if you're not paying attention to all of the bragging that i do about about my daughter emma um, she got a rowing scholarship to Wazoo. And, uh, you know, this has been an interesting year for, for her and rowing because I literally have not had the honor of watching her row this year. Um, for spring season, there was supposed to be uh, regionals and then nationals and a trip to San Diego to um, take part in a special event down there. And uh, all, all of that got canceled. Hold on a sec. I'm checking my phone for something. <laughs> I love you, Josh. <laughs> uh, so anyhow, um, none, none of that stuff happened. So um, she's been having to work out in the garage all spring. And, uh, but she's going off to college. In the fall and she's gonna row over there at wazoo so i'm looking forward to that that's gonna be a lot of fun as a as a parent as as a father it's always wonderful to root for your kids and be in their world and you know this is this is one of those sports that um i really don't know a whole lot about and so it it, it allows me the opportunity to sit and spectate 
And uh, especially for us dads that have sports in our backgrounds, um, it's it causes us to just shut up and be spectators. And I think that that's important for our kids. You know, growing up, being a football player, uh, my stepdad coached me a few times, and it was tough sometimes. They We had what was called the long ride home where uh, – all I got was criticism and critique instead of just letting me sit there and think about it on my own. And it's not always fun. Sometimes kids just want to play their sports and have their parents watch. In fact, I would argue that that's most often what they want. They get enough criticism from their coaches. They don't need it from their dads as well. Um, anyhow, Thanks for stopping by, Uncle Ricky. Love you. Um, so let's talk about some of the things that I'm most looking forward to doing. Talked about traveling. But, you know, I really miss going to the zoo. I, I, I don't know. I was thinking about that. You know, where I grew up in Seattle, I grew up like six blocks from the Woodland Park Zoo. I, I practically lived there, um, especially in the summer, because back in the day – which was a long time ago, uh, the Woodland Park Zoo had amusement rides. And so you could not only go and see animals, but you could also ride rides. And so, uh, you know, I, I, I spent so much time there as a kid. And then as an adult, you know, I haven't, I haven't gone there that much, but, um, you know, my kids love it. My kids love going. Uh, oh, my wife asked me a million dollar question. Which do I like more, the Point Defiant Zoo or the Woodland Park Zoo? And I would have to tell you that I actually like the Point, Devi Point Defiant Zoo more. And I'll tell you why. Number one, it's a lot smaller. You can actually do that entire zoo in half of a day and not be exhausted. Uh, number two... Their zoo lights at Christmas time are absolutely out of this world. Woodland Park Zoo needs to catch up and get with the program. Uh, third, their concessions are delicious and not as expensive. And I think that they give you straws at that zoo. I don't remember. Anyhow, so yeah, I miss going to the zoo. I'm looking forward to that. And, you know, strangely enough, this may shock some of you. Um, I'm looking forward to going to the glass blowing museum in Tacoma. I don't know if any of you have ever done that, but it's pretty incredible. And, and, and I literally could sit there all day long and watch these people blow glass. It's, it's incredible. Um, several years ago, uh, we went for one of our kids' schools was doing a field trip. It might have been Emma's. I think it was anyway. And so that was my first experience there. And I was so blown away and mesmerized by the experience that we went back um, another time. And I think we were probably there for three hours just watching them blow glass. It was incredible. So anyway, I'm looking forward to doing that. I miss going to concerts. Um, I miss going out to dinner. I never thought that I would actually say that, but I miss going out to dinner, uh, especially my one of my wife's one of my wife's favorite restaurants is down in Ballard. Uh, it's this little Italian place called Piccolino's. Um, some of my Ballard heads and might know what place I'm talking about. It's right there on the corner of 65th and 24th, I believe. Can't miss it. Uh, they make their own raviolis right there in house. Anyhow, it, it's incredible food. I miss going out to dinner, but you know what I think I'm looking forward to the most, practically speaking, is going to the movies. I really miss going to the movies. Um, I have date nights with my wife, with my kids at the movies, and so I, I did a little bit of research, and I was really flabbergasted at how many movies were canceled, how many movie releases were canceled because of this whole thing. Um, 
so and, and a lot of them were movies that I was looking forward to seeing, and I've completely forgotten about them because we've been quarantined for so long and don't think about it. Uh, for my birthday, which is which was on March twenty second, um, yes, Anthony, the Portland Zoo, amazing, very similar to the old school Woodland Park Zoo. Uh, Andrea and I were down there a few years ago. It was incredible. I'd never been to the Portland Zoo before, and they have a train just like the Woodland Park Zoo does. And it's laid out just like, I, I, it was like going back in time 30 years. It was great. Uh, anyhow, um, for my birthday, uh, I was really looking forward to see seeing A Quiet Place Part 2. That got canceled. Uh, my family, we're into superhero movies, and we were excited about Black Widow. That got canceled. There was a Ghostbusters sequel that was supposed to come out with uh the the original cast uh jungle cruise the movie was supposed to come out yeah a mo another one of those movies based on a ride at disneyland um it stars the rock and now i can't remember that gal's name she played mary pop and she's also in a quiet place i can't think of her name now anyhow that was supposed to come out that's been delayed live action mulan was canceled top gun maverick now all of us 80s brats now that we are the age that we are today when we sit down and watch the original top gun with our kids is it me or is that movie just filthy <laughs> i i tell you i sat down with my kids to watch that movie a few years ago thinking oh man it's top gun it's, you know it's amazing man there is so much adult content in that movie. I was shocked. I felt like the worst father ever. Anyhow, uh, Top Gun Maverick, the sequel, was supposed to come out. That's been delayed. But I think the movie that we as a family were looking forward to the most was Wonder Woman 1984. That was supposed to come out uh, in two or three weeks. It's like the first part of June. And that's been delayed. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to going to the movies, man. I'm looking forward to these movies coming out when they do. But I'm, I'm looking forward to the experience of going to the movies, man. I miss it. I miss it a lot. Um, let's see. <laughs> I was blown away at the Glass Museum. Yeah, sorry. No pun intended. <laughs> Ooh, Brian, good one. Going bowling with the family. Yeah, bowling. I never thought I would miss bowling. But, you know, I, I actually was talking to Andrea about this not too long ago. Man, we haven't been bowling in forever. Yeah, bowling. Definitely, definitely. Michelle, have you been to Chihuly Guard? Yes. Um, one year for our anniversary, I believe, uh, we went down to the Chihuly. It was like right after it opened down there by the Space Needle. We went down there. Um, I have pictures. I should share some of those. I know that I've shared them before, but anyway, yeah, that place is gorgeous. Um, I could have stayed there all day. We ate at the little restaurant that's there too. Totally cool. Totally cool. Top Gun came out when I was in the eighth grade, and I don't think I've watched it since. Yeah. Were we that young? Because I seem to remember watching that movie when I was in high school. But you know what? It was one of those movies that my mom wouldn't let me see because it was rated PG-13 and thought that it was too mature for me, I guess. I don't know. And so when I did see it, it was at the old Dollar Theater in Alderwood. Remember the old Dollar Theater in Alderwood that shared the parking lot with uh, Chuck E. Cheese? That's where I saw Top Gun the first time when I paid a dollar to watch that movie. And now that I'm... 48 years old that's about how much that movie was worth <laughs> it's just my opinion it's just my opinion so yeah those are the things that i'm most looking forward to um you know i'm i'm looking forward to seeing my friends i'm looking forward to getting out and socializing and doing all these different activities um i'm looking forward to uh weekend getaways and um, 
Yeah. I mean, it, when you start going, it, it, you got to be careful though, because when you start thinking about all the things that you're looking forward to, you start realizing all the things that you, that you miss and it's real easy to get sad or depressed or whatever. But, um, that wasn't, that wasn't my intent. So I don't want to digress. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very, very excited, uh, to get out and start doing things. And here in the Pacific Northwest, hopefully soon, we'll be able to get out of these cages and get out into the world. So I think I'm going to wrap things up. I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me for a little while. I want to leave you with one final thought. When things start to open up, I want to encourage every single one of you that any chance that you have to help out a local business that's been closed because of the quarantine, do it. I mean that seriously. Do it. Um, and for those of you who know someone especially that does their own haircutting, we could make them all millionaires in one week. I'm just saying. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, want to let you all know that I've got a YouTube channel that's in that's in work. Uh, if you go over to YouTube, it's the Theological Coordinator. Search for me. Um, I've just got one video on there now, but at some point, I'm going to end up moving my live stream to to YouTube, um, mostly because it's easier for me to follow the chat and. Uh, Anyway, uh, there's that. If you want to give me some topics to talk about on my streams, get on Twitter and subscribe to me on Twitter. Not my personal page. Look me up under at Theo Coordinator. The at sign, Theo Coordinator. So follow me on Twitter, at Theo Coordinator, and then... DM me a topic or anything you want me to talk about. That's probably the best way uh, to get to me. Um, yeah, other than that, man, this is a blast. I love I love hanging out with you guys. I love doing this. I should have done this a long time ago. Um, this is how I get to see y'all. What's this say? What'd you say, Anthony? Oh, golf is opening. Ooh, golfing. There we go. You know, there's one thing that golf and karaoke have in common. Did you know that? It's really not so much about how good you are. It's about who you do it with. Some of you might disagree with me about the karaoke part, but you know what? Those people that think that karaoke has something to do with talent are the ones that are afraid to get up and do it. I'm just saying. Anyhow, uh... Let's see what else we got here. You know, Michelle, we miss you too. Uh, yeah, we miss you too. So we got to hang out soon, definitely. Oh, thanks, Andrea. My wife put that in the chat, the uh, Twitter page. Anyhow, I'm going to do more of these. Um, I've already come up with an idea. I'm going to be streaming every Friday, uh, probably in the evening. Uh, I'm shooting for probably around 8 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, we're going to call it from out of left field. Friday is Friday evening is going to be the night that we're going to talk about something just from out of left field. Uh, I've already got my first one for next Friday. I've already got it planned. I've already got it figured out what we're going to talk about. So uh, look for that information. But yeah, theological coordinator. That's, the, that's what this is. That's who I be. And uh, hope you all enjoyed hanging out with me tonight. Looking forward to seeing you all again soon. Looking forward to being out in the world with you all soon. And uh, here's looking up, y'all. Peace. <laughs>